Welcome to DevTech Minds. From this video, I am going to start the playlist of 30 days of pandas. Now this playlist will contain problem solving from lead code. Lead code has this structured 30 questions to be solved so that you guys can practice pandas and understand how you can uh, manipulate the data using pandas library. So it has some easy and medium level questions. We are going to solve each of these questions one by one in the coming set of videos. And uh, we will solve one question each in a video and I'll upload uh, one video every day. So let's get started. The first video is about the big countries. One more thing is that this entire playlist of these problem statements is going to be in English. And if you guys want the Hindi playlist, you can comment down in the videos and let me know whether you want the window, whether you want the Hindi playlist or not. So let's start by reading the problem statement. Firstly, they have given us the structure of the table. Table contains five different columns starting with name, which is a variable character. Then we have continent, area, population and GDP. And we have two integers in here. GDP is big integer, so it will be a you know, number in trillions and all. So that's why it is a big integer. Name is a primary key for the table. And each row of this table gives information about the name of the countries the continent in which it country in which the country belong the area and the population now what is the question the question says a country is big if it has an area of at least so uh, we have the greater than or equal to as a condition in here and it says around 3 million so any country which has area greater than or equal to 3 million that will be a big country and if the country has population of it of at least 25 million which is once again greater than or equal to 25 million that will be a big country so that's what we have to show in the solution we have to show all these country names that are big countries so our output should be something like this here you have the sample input and here you have the sample output output contains three columns name population and the area and let's uh, get it started so you can see in here that the function has been already created and the pd.data frame is saved as world so we'll be taking the data from this world let's create a variable first so i would name the variable as uh, let's just copy this and i'll just add a df uh, later on so that will be my variable and from that i want the entire data set but having a particular condition so from that i want first condition will be that uh, the the uh, area has to be greater than 3 million so world area has to be greater than so that's my condition and greater than equal to uh, to be precise i'll just copy this 3 million mark and paste it in here that uh, should do the work right so that's our first condition now the second condition is that uh, the population has to be greater than 25 million now because the problem statement says that either of these conditions should be true for a big country so i'll use r so just the pipe would work in here and uh, i can copy this entirely and paste it in here and then change it to be population population and just change this 3 to 25 that would work and yeah that that should work now we have the output to be returned so return so we're gonna return the big countries df entirely but uh, we don't want the all the columns because it will contain all these five columns we only want three of them that is uh, what we need in the output uh, we need the name the population as well as the area so i'll use the square braces and another one because we need uh, more than one so i'll use area so first we have the name so i'll use name then i'll use the population and then i use the area so let's hope this works. We can try and run it and let's see what output we're getting. So here we go. We got uh, the correct output. This is accepted. Now uh, what we can do, we can submit it and that will be submitted. Yeah, right. So here you can see uh, we can, you know, just remove it. Yeah. So here's our, uh, you know, memory usage and runtime and all. And that's our query. So that's how you can solve this question and that is all in this video. I'll see you in the next one.